Getting a YouTube channel monetized is not an easy task. Sure, there are a lot of channels that are monetized, but when you really think about it from channels that exist to channels that are monetized, it's in the minority. So my journey is a unique one. And I say unique in the sense that I can only vouch for myself. And I'm sure there are people that have similar journeys, but for me, I went down a very specific path that probably only a few have gone through. Welcome back to the Rebel Tech Channel. I'm Justin and in this video, we're going to be talking about the less than two years it took me to getting my YouTube channel monetized. Now, I have a video out right now that talked about the review process, meaning the uh, process that you need to go through to get your channel monetized once you reach the criteria of 1K subscribers and 4K watch time hours. But that's a separate video. I'll leave it linked on the back end of this one. What I'm gonna get to in this video is talk about my journey, talk about what I did specifically to this channel to get to the monetization status. Now, 19-ish months, let's see, 12 in April, so that's April, May, June, July, August, September, October, roughly about 19 months it took me to get monetized. From the time that I uploaded my first video to the time that I was given the button to apply to get monetized. This is not fast, it's average. The average time in which people get monetized is roughly about 22 to 24 months from a couple of places that I've seen. 19 months is a little below that, so I'm faster than average, but for the most part, if you really think about it, it's pretty much average. And as I said in the intro, there are not many channels that get monetized because if you compare the ratio of channels that exist to channels that are monetized, they're in the minority. It makes sense. And to take the time out to actually build a channel and actually care for it in a way that makes it grow and makes it grow consistently is very difficult because one, people have lives, people have things that they do and people lose interest. They sometimes think, oh, I just wanna do this for my career or I wanna do this as a hobby. And then they lose interest. But for my journey, it was very specific and very unique. And I know there are a lot of people that probably have the same experience. And that experience was the pandemic, meaning I don't think I would have done this channel or made this channel if it wasn't for the fact that I had to stay home. Uh, I really wanted to, I was talking, actually the channel was created a year before in 2019 and I didn't have time to upload videos. I was thinking, oh, I'll just put up a video every so often and that that's it. Then this hit, I had to stay home and I had to stay busy to keep myself sane. So let's talk about 2020, the first calendar year of this channel and I have the stats all pulled up and I'm not going to just blurt out stats here. I'm going to talk about how things went and my perspective uh, looking back on it with uh, the lens that I have now or the filter I should say. So in 2020, <laughs> I, I find it so funny that the 2020, this like point in my life where I was just making videos to make videos and the amount of views that I have is very small compared to what I have now. And that's seven, eight months. It's crazy. Nine months even. So about 27,000 views, 1.8 watch time hours and 229 subs. This is not a lot, especially for a channel that only 10 months later got monetized. And in that 10 months, it grew exponentially. And if we were to compare it to now where it's over 160,000 views, that's, I don't know, let's see. Six times the amount of views in the amount of, same amount of time, roughly. 
and then 10,000 watch time hours compared to the almost two here, that's four times as many, and over 1,000 subscribers, which is roughly about four times as many that I had going into 2021. Now, what you could see from this chart is basically some exponential growth once you got to like that October range. I remember the thing that really changed it was that PD70 video. It just came out and I wanted to do a video on it and I really like the sound. It's still my favorite budget option out there. And then I did the comparison between the PD70 and the Rode Pod mic. That one did pretty well and you guys seemed to like that one. Then finishing up the year, we had the booth video. We had my part two of comparing the Compass to the Rode PSA1 and basically a couple of tutorials to finish up the year. And that's where I noticed we're getting to a new peak here. So what I wanted to do is talk about that journey and what it means. It means that I tried things. It means in that first year, I threw things out and saw what stuck. I didn't know what this channel was gonna be. I just had a bunch of gear and I had experience within the film industry and in audio, and I wanted to see what I could do with it and see if I could just spread out my knowledge. At this time, and at 229 subscribers, I was thinking, let's just get out of this pandemic. Let's get a job. And at the time I was thinking, maybe I could get it back into studio work, but I wasn't really hoping on, I, was, I didn't have my hopes up on it. Mostly because there wasn't many options. The pandemic was still going on and I was, it was a lot of uncertainty. So I just figured let's keep this going. And uh, I am very fortunate that I was able to support myself and I had family that supported me in this journey and they still do today. I mean, it's very unique in my situation. Like I said, I had a pandemic. I had I have family that really supports me and, and helps me out in every way that they can. So that is why I mean uh, unique, but there are people who have similar situations, but I say unique in the fact that it's only my situation that this specific stuff happens. So let's move on to 2021, where now you notice there is an extra section there. And I'm okay with just mentioning how much it is because eventually I will say it. I mean, it's not much money, but it is something that I've earned by just putting up videos and videos that I have in the past. So. I don't expect this to be a career just yet or ever. I don't know. I don't know where this channel is going to go, but I expect that I'm going to be working a regular job and doing this on the side eventually. I mean, I know I have a job lined up in January that's going to go through most of the year. But during that time, I hope to put out a regular schedule and stuff like that, do some streaming and things like that. Now, regardless of that, let's talk about how things grew over that time. Now this chart definitely doesn't look as exponentially increasing, but it definitely shows a lot of consistency. So compared to the 26,000 the year prior, we have 135 as of right now, as of November 21st. And you're probably going to see that this gets up to over 150,000 just for this year. 8.7 on the watch time hours, we're probably going to be close to 10,000 in the end of the year, 817 subscribers with a month and a week left. I'm hoping to get that over 900, maybe even 950, but we'll see what happens. I don't know yet. I mean, it'd be great if it was a thousand in the year, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. And then of course, as of right now, $29 that I've made on this channel. And that's not a lot, but for the first week and a half, two weeks of being monetized, Hey, I'll take it from a year and a half of not getting paid at all. Come on, I'll take it. And more comparisons, more Zoom F6 stuff, more tutorials, more everything is coming. And I really look forward to what the end of this year has, what next year has, how I'm going to fit it in with my schedule because I'm, I'm a little nervous, but I'm also very excited to see how I could blend my life and this channel together. And hopefully that I can bring this channel to the point where it could support me in the fact that it's just a part of my life regularly. Like it has been, it's going to be, I got to admit, it's going to be nice to mix it up with a job and this channel. 
I might struggle a little bit. I might have some weeks where I don't publish a video. I'd like to do it once a week, but I got to be strategic with it. Have videos that are easy to edit, have videos that are just topics that I want to talk about and have topics that are good for the algorithm and good for views. And hopefully you guys like them. Hopefully you guys are interested in those types of things and hopefully you guys stick around. I really do hope you do because it's something that I'm very passionate about. I, I really do love this channel and I love this community and I really want to have a, uh, a place on the internet that is mine and a place I can come to and have a home on the internet because I've given up on social media. I've given up on that. And despite the fact that the internet has changed a lot during my life, I do feel that I want to have a home there. And if this is the place, then awesome. Uh, we'll see what happens. So yeah, not to get too sentimental at the end there. I'm sorry. So we're running out of time on the recording. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please hit the like button down below. Greatly appreciated. If you have any questions, comments, or anything whatsoever, down in the comment section. You could also ask me things while I stream on Monday till the end of the year. And if you like my vibe around here, please consider subscribing. It'd be greatly appreciated. We're well on our way to the next milestone. And if you want to be a part of the community, please consider subscribing. Also consider joining the Discord. I want to build that up too so I could help people out as well. And that's all I got for you. Until next time, take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh shit, is that something? Oh, I knew it. Oh, I saw it with my own two eyes. Son of a bitch, that would have been bad. Oh dear. Oh, my tootsies.